So, we are going to close out our little power review of two-dimensional vectors pretty soon here. And one of the last concepts we need to um, put out there, it's, this is a rather significant one, but small, has to do with the scale of the vector. So as a reminder to you all, if we had, for example, this vector u here, and that the magnitude of u was, let's say, 8, then if I were to use what's called a scalar multiplication and multiply that vector by 3, then what that implies is then the magnitude is 3 times 8, which is 24. Or if I were to multiply by 1 half, then the magnitude of 1 half u would be half of 8, which would be 4. So what if we were not out to just multiply by a scalar and recompute the magnitude. But what if we were aiming for particular magnitudes? What if we wanted the magnitude to equal a particular value? Um, that has some use um, in, in different branches of uh, science, math, computer work. Um, but to get there, there's an important stepping stone. So here is our quote unquote stepping stone. So here are two vectors. I'd like you to, in a moment, pause and calculate the magnitude of each of these vectors. Okay, so pause, go for it. Welcome back. The magnitude of this vector should be 5, and the magnitude of vector v should be the square root of 29. So 4 comma 3, magnitude is 5, 2i minus 5j, otherwise known as 2 comma negative 5, its magnitude is square root of 29. So what would I do to this vector? What would I multiply it by if I wanted the magnitude to be equal to 1? what would this multiplier be? So the original magnitude is 5. I want the new magnitude to be 1. And so you would either divide by 5 or multiply by 1 fifth. That should get us to a magnitude of 1. So let me just grab a piece of scratch paper here real fast. And let's see if that is true. So multiply by 1 fifth. That would be 4 fifths comma 3 fifths. Magnitude of that would be square root of 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 squared is 9 over 25. Square root of 25 over 25 is the square root of 1, which is 1. So they have a name for such a vector. When you take the original vector and divide it by its own magnitude, multiply by 1 over, they call this u divided by its magnitude. It is called the unit vector. Now, if you're looking for a more complete name, it's the unit vector in the direction of whatever the original vector is. So the idea is it's in the same direction as this vector. So this vector has a length of 5. This new vector has only a length of 1. So only a length of 1, but the same direction. So it allows us to keep a direction value, but not have to worry about the scale of it in, in the sense. 
the unit vector here, um, vector v divided by its magnitude or multiplied by 1 over, that would be 2 over square root of 29 i minus 5 over square root of 29 j. So this would be, again, a unit vector in the direction of vector v. Now, what if I wanted to program, let's say, a video game that involved driving and I wanted to set a specific speed? So let's suppose it's some sort of a, a bicycle racing game and you wanted the bicycle to have a magnitude or a speed that was equal to, let's say, um, 17. Well, then what you would do is you would take your original vector, divide it by its magnitude, and that would give you a vector of length 1. And then multiply this by 17 afterwards, and now I would have increased the vector that went from 5 down to 1 to now 17. So for the example here, for vector v, I'm going to switch notations now to make it a little bit simpler to write quickly. If I were to take vector v and divide it by its magnitude, 2 over square root of 29, negative 5 over square root of 29, but then multiply it by 17 times 17 times 17. This new vector here, 34 over square root of 29, negative 85 over square root of 29. This new vector has a magnitude that is equal to 17 exactly. And now I've now taken my moving bicycle that's going in this direction and I've converted the vector so I've got the direction I want but now I have it set up to have the speed or the magnitude that I want exactly. So the skill involves something called a unit vector you have to know the magnitude of the original vector to play this quote unquote game. But it is a rather big deal and some formulas that will come up much later in this course. So until then, talk to you later.